Hi, and welcome to Anne Marie's Workshop. My name is Anne Marie, and I love to make things with joy. If you like to make things with joy, you have found the right place. Please like, subscribe, and share. So today is the 25th of May, and this is my Friday Sews video two days early because I'm going away, so I won't be here on Friday to record. So I think everybody will forgive me for being one day early. And the hashtag Friday Sews um, creators group was created by Jenny Westner on Facebook. If you're interested, go apply. And uh, she and a few other creators decided to come up with a forum or a place where you could kind of um, share what you were working on this week, like what you're doing in your workshop. So this is my uh, May 25th uh, hashtag video. Now, Jenny took a well-deserved rest and did not come up with a forum um, topic for this month. And um, usually they're just sentence starters um, to get the conversation rolling. I have no problem with conversation. <laughs> Unfortunately, maybe too much conversation. Anyway, so I've been doing my sewing autobiography and I think I left off in my uh, 40s and I think I'm going to... Uh, I'm turning 60 on Saturday, so let me bring you up to present. I had a very unusual, no, that's not unusual. A lot of people are doing this. I had a life event that took me out of my comfort zone, but I knew it was going to happen. Now, everyone has parents. Um, your relationship to your parents is your, your own deal, but I always knew that one day that I was going to have to move to Jamaica and it worked really well in my head for some time because my parents had been building a retirement home here for years. And at the time I was married, unbelievably, to a Jamaican man um, to meet him in all of America. And I thought, oh, this is going to work out perfectly because he wanted to retire to Jamaica. And I knew I was going to have to take care of my parents. How convenient. Man makes plans and God laughs. <laughs> So, uh, let's just say uh, we went quite a ways together, but we didn't make it to Jamaica together. So anyway, my parents, uh, my mother got ill with dementia and, um, and, you know, the little complications. But then my father, after caring for her for 12 years, he became ill. And so best laid plans for retirement changed. So I packed all my stuff up, y'all. An entire house. <laughs> no, I had to get rid of a lot of things, but I, I didn't get rid of my sewing machine though. So a great deal of the things I brought here had to do with my passion, my, my patterns, my fabric, my sewing machines, my sewing table, my quilts, my everything. And I had quite a few other wormholes I'd gone down. Polymer clay, beading, gardening, Ooh, what scrapbooking. <laughs> Plus the fact that I was the librarian didn't make things any better because I had, I think I must have donated 20 boxes of books besides the, the, the libraries that I brought here because my mom had built me a library here. God bless her. God bless her. Anyway, I digress. So this was um, before I had left the United States. It was my first time that I had a fully dedicated room to sewing. I had a um, three bedroom little house, one room I kept, one master bedroom for me, one room for guests, and the last bedroom was my sewing room. And I think that's when I started recording uh, some things, maybe six years ago, that's when I did that Mimi G um, review of a satin um, bomber jacket that has just been wonderful. So anyway, it was the first time everything was in one place, all at one time. And y'all, this is what the inside of my brain looks like. <laughs> I'm a visual learner. And so in order for me to create on the level I've been creating, I have to see everything. If I can't see everything, it has to be in a clear box with a label on it. So... The reason I'm so prolific with my sewing is because this is my inside of my brain. 
I wish I could make it cute, y'all. I love seeing other people's rooms with the lovely um, white, with, with lovely boxes and threads on the walls. It doesn't work for me. If I can't see the bucket of scissors, I can't find the scissors. If I can't see the clear buckets marked Ankara fabric or dress fabric, I can't get it going. I just can't. Like, if I have to look for something, it, I don't know, it sucks something from me creatively. So in order to get the zenith, the best part of my creativity, I have to live like this in this room. I try and keep it like, I try and keep it in this room. <laughs> But the library is pretty bad, too. <laughs> so one of my big influences was PBS used to show Nancy Zeman's 10, 20, 30 minutes to sew. I have her book. And even though I have quite a few people that I follow as far as inspirational to my sewing and such, that concept of you sew a little bit and then you come back and do a little more and then eventually something gets done because teaching and librarianship and putting them both together plus family and friends and neighbors and occasions and choir and stuff like that it's a big life and you want to sew and then that isn't even this time times when people wanted spaghetti and the husbands were looking for shirts and where are all the socks and all the other stuff that um you know you can be in charge of so that that time period of my life transformed into this time of the life where I had to figure out how I was going to express myself. And I had to put some of my interests aside. Um, not that I don't enjoy them, but I gave up eating. I gave up polymer clay. Um, they were all things that were very um, satisfying and nurturing but I've decided to go down the sewing and quilting hole and, and a little gardening, a little gardening. So anyway, so that is kind of my philosophy now. So I sew what I want when I want. I'm wearing this outfit that you see right now. This is a DKNY Vogue pattern because it's going to someone else. <laughs> and I just wanted to see how it, how it felt. And it, it's really super cute. So it inspired me to make another one in a different fabric. I'll show you that in a little bit. But now I kind of, I sew first thing in the morning when I'm fresh. Nine o'clock, I'm doing my walk. So um, rarely do I get to come back into the um, studio, uh, but I can come back. Um, learning how to slow the wheel in retirement has been really enti um, uh entertaining at the very least. But now I sew when I feel like sewing because I have more time. So the things that inspire me um, are a really great pattern, a serendipitous piece of material. Um, sometimes I look for things um, directly like a Oh, like lining to go with a coffee colored tuxedo. I might go through mood fabrics, but most of the time it's serendipity. I like a fabric. It's a good price for me, price block for me. I buy it and then inspiration comes. So I have brought you up to the present. So now let's get on to what I got into this week. Now, last week I worked on Vogue. I should know it by heart now, 97531735, one of my favorite patterns. And while I was working on it, I had gone to a Kingston to and found this unbelievable koi print in um, this new fabric store for me, Pablo's other people have been. And I thought, oh, this pattern is a wonderful pattern to showcase a huge print. So after I finished on the cave pattern, it was a Saturday, it's like a Saturday sew. Um, it took like Saturday morning, but it's stunning. So let me show it to you. So this is pattern 1735. I'm sure you've seen it in the book. I also have it as 9253. Um, they reissued it, but I'll show you the line drawing. It is a wonderful palette for a very large print. And it's very, very, 
you can real do this is like one foot big <laughs> it's 12 inches i don't know how many centimeters guys i'm so sorry but it is a beautiful make let me give you a visual of it hold on okay so if you're new to my channel um i want you to know that i do a monthly make where i will put it on so you can see it on in all its glory um but this is one of the things i was working on and that brought me to another problem now as a special treat since I am turning six this weekend, I'm going to see a special concert with a few with a few friends, and the uh, the uh, attire was labeled tropical elegance. I don't know if they meant tropical fish, but I'm going with it. So in order, so in order to wear this as the covering I needed something for underneath it now I did have the black um, jumpsuit um, and I'll show it maybe over here and I did have um, another black jumpsuit that is kind of my go-to um, that works with a lot of things but I wanted to wear a dress or something underneath that I could take this off if it became too warm um, but it's, it's, it's very light so I made, a, I smashed a pattern and I'll show you the two parts. So I switched the view around. Hopefully you're seeing more now. So I needed something to go under it. So this is the Segura um, set from Friday Pattern Company. This is the shirt smashed with McCall's eight through two to the skirt with these beautiful gathered tears, but they ha it has pleating on it. And I just think it was really beautiful. And underneath, I like that the um, elastic went around under, right underneath the slimmest part of my waist that I have. So let me show you it with the jacket on. And it's really nice because you know I'm apple shaped. So I think it's a beautiful combo together. I have not found the clasp yet that has inspired me. So I think I'm gonna do a hook and eye um, I have some larger hooks than I until I run across a beautiful catch. That would be so sweet right here. But never mind, there are ties to go with it. So these are two things I worked on this week. Now I made this pattern, DKNY 1487. It has a uh, error in it, but um, in my, I talk about it in the last uh, Friday sews, but I loved it so much. I'm wearing it today. I am sending it to my daughter. I promise <laughs> But I was looking at the way they use stripes in the design especially the chevron skirt and I had an idea Now a couple of months ago, I ran into this knit fabric at Ping's and I thought it was so interesting. Oh, you're seeing my stripe through it. Let me fold it in half. And it has these texture finishes. It has these little sequins that float around on two levels. And maybe you can see it better that way. But it occurred to me, that's a stripe. So I made this again with this slouchy, and beautiful. I am so tickled with it. I had no idea it was gonna turn out like this, but I absolutely love it. It looks like something you could, somebody invites you over for an evening of cards or to go out someplace. The shoes will determine how fancy it's gonna be, but it's gonna catch the light. It's gonna glitter. It's super soft. The um, It has the same chevron in the front. 
I'm so tickled with it. Okay, so the last thing I'm working on this week is so sweet and so cute. I'm really enjoying them. And I, let me find the pattern for you. <laughs> this is Butterick 6906. It's a tiered shirt dress um, that you can color block. You can use tiny prints. You can use Ankara. Depends upon what your little girl needs. And I am working on right now, not finished. Um, the, I'm working on a six month old one, a one year one, and a three year old one that I'm working on right now. And that's what I'm, um, that's the extent. I've done some other things. I've modified some patterns. I've cut quite a few things out. Um, believe it or not, that 10 yard piece of blue that I got from Pings on my trip to Kingston, and I have any of it left. I knew I was gonna use it. I'm so glad that I bought as much as I did. Anyway, it's been a wonderful week. I have sewn with a lot of joy. Um, I've had some beautiful um, feelings and, and projects that have come out this week for myself. And I'm really tickled um, going into the weekend. I hope you're having a great um, uh, sewing time. Take your time. Enjoy what you do, 15, 20, 30 minutes at a time. If you don't have a whole day to devote to sewing, that's okay. You can, you can get there. There's no rush. Enjoy it, feel the fabric. I absolutely love this one. I would tell you where I got this fabric, but all is fair in love and fabric. And I have used up I bought it for me and I've made three little girl dresses and I want some more of this fabric. Some of y'all know where it came from. It wasn't things. But leave me a couple, maybe three yards. <laughs> Have a great weekend. We will see you next week. And uh, remember everything I've made will be in my May makes where I'll try, my, try it on, twirl around so you can see it on this little apple shaped dumpling and see if it's for you or for someone you love. All right, keep making with joy.